it's officially 1% Athletics official launch day, you guys. So freaking excited. I'm here at, okay, we're not gonna focus, that's cool. We're here at Iron City, about to get my workout on. All right, you guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Like I said, to start the video, this for the first clip. Let me show you guys. 1% Athletics is now officially live. Let's go. Go check it out. 1%athletics.com. We have our performance collection with the shirt. And if you just want a pop socket, check out the accessories. Like I said, coming soon. Women's collection, the winner of 19. So go check out the, the brand. Show some support. I appreciate you guys. We've got big things coming here in the future. Let me get back to this workout uh, here at Iron City. I'll take you guys through it. Uh, it's leg day, so I'm about to knock out some legs. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys, whenever I'm doing leg day, I always like to do my calves second after my main compound lift, whether it's a squat, my reverse lunges. I like doing my reverse lunges for baseball, uh, simply because, think about it in baseball, everything you're doing is, is off one foot, uh, pushing backwards when you're swinging. Your weight power transfer is always to the back, uh, pitching, you know, you're pushing through the rubber. Um, Fielding, you know, to throw, stuff with your feet, you're moving through the ball to go to first, pushing off your back legs. That's why I like doing my reverse lunges. I like doing my, and my calf raises. I like doing those second. Uh, that's my first accessory leg movement. That way that my legs are not fatigued. Um, so I can get the most out of them. I can, I can get the stretch uh, and the most, of, of most contraction out of them. Um, so yeah, so that's why I do those second out of, after my compound lift. Uh, but now we're going to go into RDLs. Uh, lately I've been doing double RDLs, not single leg. Uh, I'll move into single leg here soon to use some more stability and mobility and get the stretch through the movement. But right now, uh, going buck leg, dumbbell RDLs. Actually, <laughs> unfortunately, leaving the gym. Um, kind of, kind of. I don't want to cuss, but kind of fucking aggravating, to be honest. Uh, it's too crowded right now. Yeah, and I'm actually supposed to be coaching at three o'clock, and it's two o'clock right now. So I was gonna finish up with uh, sled pushes and walking lunges but there's a bunch of people in the gym there's people outside on the turf so i'm not able to do either of those so i'm thinking about doing is i'm gonna go coach come back and finish my workout so i still gotta do shoulders too uh but i mean did my rdls and then i went and did leg extensions but i mean like there's just so many people everything was taken up no room to move. People are asking you to get off stuff. I just, I'd rather come when there's nobody here so I can just get my stuff done. Uh, but like I said, for now, we're gonna go, go home, eat, and head to the baseball field to go coach. Okay, so I bet you guys can't guess where I'm getting lunch at. Give you a few seconds. If you guessed Chipotle, you are correct. 
when else do I not come here? I'm Chipotle's best customer. I am the reason Chipotle stays in business, let's be honest. I need a black card. Can I get a burrito, please? Can you white rice? Uh, white rice and black beans. Uh, chicken. And then, uh, can I get queso as well? Uh, light pico, light corn, and then lettuce. Okay guys, so we are back at the gym. Like I said, uh, <laughs> uh Saturday night, launch day. It was a successful first day. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, but like I said, that ain't, wasn't even get my workout finished earlier. Uh, it was too crowded. So now I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum because I'm here at Iron City and I have the whole place to myself. Uh, so about to finish my workout of uh, legs and then a little bit of shoulders. Um, and then, yeah, I think it's only appropriate. I'm wearing my Hunt Greatness t-shirt. So, Let's get this workout finished. All right, so I just finished the end of that workout. Finished up my legs. Uh, did a little bit of shoulders. Uh, to be truthful with you guys, I know this lighting sucks right here. Uh, I need to get, I need to upgrade, get a lamp. You know, like I said in the last video, if you watched it, this is something that I've lived my whole life by. Uh, three years ago, you know, I told my buddy I wanted to make a motivational speech behind it. Never got it done. I said I wanted to build a brand. Never did it. Uh, this past December, Christmas, whatever, I finally sat down and said, hey man, I'm gonna get this done, get the logo made. Got the manufacturer, got the shirts made, and I just went for it. And I've worked hard on it, but this week, man, I have, like these last four or five days, I've truthfully barely slept. I'm going on like 10, 12 hours of sleep in the last three or four days, just been up all night working on the website, prepping things uh, to get ready for today's launch, and start planning for the future. Um, truthfully, this has reignited, rejuvenated me like just with motivational and fuel and fire. Like I'm so excited for this brand. And not only like excited for it, but it's fun. It's fun doing it. And uh, I'm enjoying it. And I'm just like, I'm excited to see where it goes. Like I said, I've hit, I've like hit another just level of, of motivation and, and drive to take this to be something special. And it's shared everywhere. And hold on guys, I'm just I'm, I'm freaking ecstatic about it. And today's launch went so well, uh, especially for day one. I'm like so I, I obviously I, I expected, you know, the good things, but it, it completely exceeded my expectations. And I, I'm just excited to see what the rest of the weekend looks like, the rest of the week and the next few months. Um, starting to get things prepped for this winter. I want to get a women's collection going. I want to add to this men's collection, get some more accessories, and then also prepping six months out for next springtime. Um, so, man, guys, I just, I barely slept. And I've just been grinding work on this, and I can't tell you guys how good it feels. And I'm just, I, I'm re energized. If you want something, just go fucking do it, man. I, don't wake up every day saying, I'll be happy when, or I'll do this when, because you know what? That win never comes. Because you're gonna keep putting it off. Not only are you gonna keep putting it off, but I mean, like, let's be honest, guys. Like, you don't know how much longer we have on this earth, so why waste time? You know, you don't know what the circumstances are gonna be. And, you know, why wait? Why not do it now? You're never gonna have the perfect moment to do something. The perfect moment to do something is right now. To go 
all in and just do it. I've never messed with logos or manufacturing or apparel before. I know nothing about this industry. Nothing. And I'm just jumping in and I'm learning along the way. And I think that's one of the most valuable things I've learned from baseball is it's okay to fail. Failure is like the best thing you can do. To have a little bit of adversity in your life uh, builds character, it lifts you up, it makes you stronger. Who wants to be the person that has everything handed to him along the way and just entitled? Doesn't ever have to go through shit. And so, you know, I know there's gonna be rough spots and I'm gonna fail and, and I'm gonna fall down, but I'm not worried about that because I know I'm gonna pick myself up and I'm gonna keep moving forward, dust my shoulders off and let's go, let's get back to work and let's figure this out. You know, and you learn from experience. That's that's what you learn from doing things. That's how you learn. You can't be scared to. to you're not going to do something because you're scared. Everybody's scared. Like the thing is, is think about the people you idolize. They were once in your shoes, in the same spot, trying to start something, trying to do something, and they had all those emotions too, and they went for it, and now they. You know, whatever they're doing, they've built it up and built it to what they are, and that's why you idolize them, because they're doing whatever. And so, you know, that's just, if you got something, man, just fucking do it. Just go for it. Don't be scared. It's, it, who cares what other people think? People judge you, and people are going to talk negative, because they're insecure in themselves. They can't look at the mirror every day and be happy with what they're doing with their life. They look in the mirror every day and they're disappointed that they're not doing what they want to do or they have regrets for not doing something. And that's why they judge or talk down on people that have big dreams and aspirations and tell them why and how it's not possible. And don't let those people set you back or keep you from doing something. Because they're not the ones that matter. The ones that matter are the ones that are going to support you and that are going to tell you that it doesn't matter what you're doing, you can do it. Who cares what the naysayers say? If you believe in it, I believe in you, I promise you can do it. Because I've watched myself, not only have I taken myself, worked my whole life and having the opportunity to play professional baseball, but now in the last eight months, I'm taking a, a simple thought, a wavelength, a wavelength in my brain and turned it into a physical product. Yeah guys, that's all I have to say. That whatever it is you want to do, fucking do it. Just don't let anything stop you. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to fail. Just go for it.